Since the beginning, the plan was to try to deliver water to the general public in the shortest amount of time possible. The Asheville Water Restoration Project is essentially Asheville can treat water, Asheville can push water to their system. We're providing them help by pre-treating the water through a bridging solution, as you will, to be able to help them reliably treat water uh, where they can't until a more permanent solution could be put into effect. So FEMA's role in this project has been working with closely with the Asheville Water Resources Department, the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and the United States Army Corps of Engineers to make sure that we're all on the same page and we're doing everything possible to best posture the Asheville Water Resources Department for success. That way they can reliably and sustainably uh, bring water back to their communities. So back in 2020, the Asheville Water Resources Department was able to finish up their projects known as the uh, Auxiliary Spillway Project, which was that project here at North Fork that saved the dam uh, during Hurricane Helene. Additionally, there was the bypass project, which was able to compress that timeline needed in order to repressurize the system post-event. So in 11 days, they were able to start repressurizing their system. We were able to get people comfortable with the system being pressurized with non-potable water first so that people can flush toilets, take showers, and avert a public health crisis. Now, we are working on ensuring that they can reliably and sustainably continue to produce the water to meet Asheville's needs. FEMA is working with our hazard mitigation partners and interagency recovery coordination to see what could be done in order to best posture the Asheville Water Resources Department for success in completing their uh, permanent sedimentation solutions, as well as taking a look at hazard mitigation projects, such as where are places that perhaps the government can reroute their water lines to make them more resilient to flooding in the future.